I'm Dr. Benjamin Brinkman from the Departments of Neurology and Biomedical Engineering at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. A reliable system for forecasting the occurrence of epileptic seizures could empower patients with epilepsy to manage their condition and minimize the impact of seizures on their daily lives. However, progress toward reliable seizure forecasting has been hampered by the lack of open access to long duration recordings with an adequate number of seizures for investigators to rigorously compare algorithms and results. A seizure forecasting competition was conducted on Kaggle.com using open access chronic ambulatory intracranial EEG from five canines with naturally occurring epilepsy and two human patients undergoing prolonged wide bandwidth intracranial EEG monitoring. Data were provided to participants as 10-minute interictal and pre-ictal or pre-seizure data clips with approximately half of the 60 gigabyte data bundle labeled interictal or pre-ictal for algorithm training and the other half unlabeled for evaluation. The contestants developed custom algorithms and uploaded their classifications for the unknown testing data. A randomly selected 40% of the data segments were scored and the results posted on a public leaderboard. The remaining 60% of the data was used to determine the ultimate winner of the competition. The contest ran for four months and 654 participants submitted over 17,000 classifications of the unlabeled test data. The top performing entry sco scored 0.84 area under the classification curve. Following the contest, additional held out unlabeled data clips were provided to the top 10 participants and they submitted classifications for the new unseen data. The resulting area under the classification curves were well above a chance predictor, but did show a mean decline of 6.54% in performance compared to the Kaggle leaderboards. The overall performance from multiple contestants on the unseen data was better than 0.7 area under the curve and over 70% sensitive and 75% specific. This demonstrates the feasibility of seizure forecasting in canine and human epilepsy. Thank you for the opportunity to present our work.